Western Conference Finals. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Allie, it's all good. All right, Allie, thanks. Great leadership from Monty Williams and their vets. And the Grizzlies start out with the ball. The start taking a look at Phoenix. It took a major effort for them to advance out of the conference semis. How much of an effect does that have on a team? Well, you want to conserve energy as much as possible in the early rounds. They really weren't able to do that. Here's where the home fans need to rise up and give their guys the jolt of adrenaline they need. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. Jones against Walker. Here's the teardrop. Jones misses. That's the shot you hope for. Right at the rim. Just couldn't capitalize. And there's Durant. That one's good. On the assist by Walker. Durant's got six points. Able to find himself in the mid-range. That's a look that Kevin Durant will settle into. Payne against Durant. And so far in this one, two for four. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Screen by Durant. Walker passes to Durant. And it's Phoenix with another. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Memphis trailing here. Here's Morant. Five points in the game. Clark with a screen on Payne. Morant, the pass to Clark. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. And they're pushing it up. And the jam by Walker. That's a good look from Baisley as passing is becoming a bigger part of his game. And it's the Grizzlies with the ball. Outside Moran. There's a screen. 13 feet out. Misses off the right iron. Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession. If they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Did you see that? I mean, going right to the rim. That's how you finish in the open floor. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation probably disappointing had numbers took advantage Memphis has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first Clark outside back to Morant that one drops three for six now in the paint Morant stays nimble and that allows him to make any needed adjustment to his shot Durant with a screen on Jones. Walker passes to Durant. And the shot goes in. He's got 10. Strong pass there to set up the basket. Well, the Grizzlies shooting right around 42% on the first. Down low. Here's Jones. It's tipped. Now here's Walker. Give him eight. Durant with a screen on Jones. Walker passes to Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Morant with it. Pass to Aldama. Back to Morant. Oh, there's Morant with the slam. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. I like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. And you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome to me. Steps back. Outside Moran. To the middle. Here's Aldama. And a great assist by Moran as that one goes. Moran's got five assists tonight. Among the best passers in the league. Morant finds open teammates. Now here's Walker. Pass to Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. 
We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Stolen. And here's Walker. Duran with a screen on Jones. Walker passes to Duran. And it's slammed in by Duran. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. We've watched Morant get so good at this. Instinctively spots the opening and feeds a really good shooter. Walker passes to Durant. Stolen by Kennard. Clark left side. Inside. And Morant with the basket on the assist by Clark. Morant's got 11. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. No shortage of scoring here. Ladies and gentlemen, and time for us to get back into it here in game one. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Suns. Yeah, they're just attacking on defense, getting those hands out and knocking the ball free. I really like their energy defensively. They've also done a great job of taking turnovers and producing out of that, working really hard that they're not wasting extra chances that they're creating. We've got Damian Lee. DeAndre Ayton is out there with T.J. Warren. Then there's Devin Booker, and it's Walker in at the one spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. During the playoffs, the NBA leaders in shooting from the floor. The fourth spot held by Kevin Durant. Since we started the playoffs, he's been totally locked in offensively, taking and making some good looks. That's good from Jones. Chris Paul, he's checked in for Walker. Jones hits them both. Walker against Kennard. Walker passes to Durant. Good, and it's Walker who picks up the assist. Durant's got 20 points. Well, Kevin Durant operating right now out of the pick and roll. That's a scary proposition. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. And it's going to go on Cameron Payne. That free throw misses. Good on the second one. And give them credit for making a more concerted effort to get to the line this quarter. Screen by Durant. To the paint. And the shot goes down. He's got 22. A yeah, little you can do now to slow him down. Durant, such a phenomenal offensive talent. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Morant. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Phoenix has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Screen by Durant. Walker passes to Durant. And Durant with the big finish. Durant imposing his will, this time at the rim. The Grizzlies shooting 53% here in the second quarter. Outside Morant. Kennard on the wing. Takes a three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. Kennard against Walker. To the inside. And Durant with the big finish. Nice one-handed jam. Simple and effective, PA. Hey, with the lead, I'm surprised he didn't come up with something a little more creative. Clark with a screen on Craig. Here's Brooks. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. Rabbit's foot in the shoe that time. Got lucky because the pick has to be better. It made no impact, but they still got the score. Now, I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. Here's Kennard. That three's off the mark. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Here's Walker. And it's blocked by Clark. 
And so it looks like the Suns will retain possession here. Screen by Durant. Walker passes to Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. You gotta love his unselfishness. And you know his coach does as well. Well, not just coach, but you can see it in the teammates, the way that they look at him, they appreciate it when he shares the ball like that. Pass to Clark. Morant with it. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Durant's got six rebounds now in the game. A minute 31 left in the second. Walker passes to Durant. For a spindly guy, Durant has such great body control. Hard not to foul him when he carves his way in that deep. At the line for your sons, Kevin Durant. At the line for two. The free throws good from Durant. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. It's both from the strike. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. That one drops for him. I love the way they're spacing the floor this quarter. Their three-point percentage has really gone up. Walker with it. Checked by Brooks. It's picked off. Clark against Duran. Fires the three. Can't get it to go. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Wow! Always fun to see point guards who can elevate above the rim like that. Oh, a strong mindset and even stronger finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. Plays with so much confidence. When Morant gets in the zone, he stays aggressive. Phoenix has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Screen by Durant. Walker passes to Durant. And it's Durant with the finish! Hey, can you add that one to Durant's ongoing highlight reel? Thank you very much. 36 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Here's Moran. The shot, no good. Walker with some nice D. Down low, Durant. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Durant's got 34 points. Memphis shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. To the middle. Here's Aldama. One second left. Doesn't go that time. That's not going to make you a favorite target. Kevin Durant has been leading the charge for the Phoenix Suns. He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. We'll be right back. And we thank you for joining this postseason broad. They're scoring the ball with ease. The defense has done taking a look at the situation for the Phoenix Suns. The conference finals. Big fella, do you expect these teams to pull out all the stops? That would be correct, Amanda Arnie. That's right. No minute restrictions let the start. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. Stadium is rocking right now as we return to the Western Conference Finals. You know, Kevin Durant has really been making it happen here, guys. Pretty much the entire first half, he was dominating down low, piling up a ton of dunks. Yeah, there's not any guy defensively that was bodying him up or contesting the shot, so right now he's feasting. And the Suns going with a whole new group out there. Jackson, he's checked in for Memphis. Jones comes in for Brooks. 
Any hope of coming back to win this game looks near impossible. I know. The way things have gone so far, hard to imagine. On the court for Memphis. Inside, it's the pair of Jackson Jr. and Adams. John Moran is out there with Tyus Jones. And it's Bain in at the small forward position. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Tyus Jones. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Suns. Well, not content to take what the defense gives them. I mean, they're attacking the gaps and getting the ball inside. We probably have to touch on as well that tonight their penetration has been awesome. I mean, they put force on this game, attacking off the bounce, and the willingness to do that has paid off. Clark has checked in for Adams. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. Step back and fire. Morant missing. That's a shot he like back. He's usually going to make those. And they blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance at another one at the strike. And Payne just playing eyes up basketball, seeing that opportunity. Free throw good, Walker. And so it's Memphis with it. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. And there's the basket, and the whistle blows. Chance at a three-point play here. One to the line for one. At the line for the Grizzlies, Jaron Jackson Jr. Shooting one. For Phoenix, they've gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Here's Walker. And it's blocked by Clark. Right side, Bain. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Second free throw. Fifteen. Shooting for Memphis. Dead Bain. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. And Bain drops them both. Phoenix has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Walker attacking. Clark grabs the board. Well, the Grizzlies shooting a disappointing 38%. On the wing, Jones. Let's go with a three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Ja Morant picks one up. For all the rawness and the inexperience of Darius Basil, he's starting to show he's settling in to playing at this level. Well, Damas checked in for Desmond Bain. Off on that one. So he goes one out of two at the line. To the paint. Here's Jones. Good. And the setup by Moran. Jones has got nine. They need to run plays for him. Get him more touches. Whatever it takes to get him producing. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. And it's Walker off the drive. And the jam by Walker. Wow. Pretty much an unbelievable slam there, B.A. Well, you got that right. There's the AT&T 5G slam can capturing the moment. And Memphis shooting about 47%. A nice number. Now Jones. Nine points in the game. Shoots over Walker. Off the left rim and out. And for the Suns, they're shooting a remarkable 60% clip. Very efficient. And it was a great chance to finish on the break. And he flubs it. Completely lost focus. You can't get two steps ahead. Clark, the pass to Jackson. On the wing, Jones. 4-3. And Craig pulls it down. Craig's got four rebounds now. Outside Walker. And the jam by Walker. Getting up. And then throwing it down. Oh, that was a big hammer right there. Now here's Moran. 18 points for him. 
pass to Jones. With the floater. Clark, the pass to Morant. Gets some space and parries the jumper. Morant's got 20 points. With a dynamic burst, Morant has such a strong driving ability, which really helps open up his mid-range game. Now Morant grabs a miss. That is a rarity. When he takes flight, he usually hammers it home. To the inside, Jones. Good, and the setup by Morant. Jones has got seven now in this quarter. Sees his man, threads the pass inside. Excellent teamwork. Walker against Jones. Outside Craig. Pass to Payne. Craig with a screen on Moran. Five on the clock. Here's Walker. Oh, he pipes it. Nine for 14 and showing no let up. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. Jones, the pass to Clark. Now here's Moran. And 101 left in the third. Back to Jones. Let's it go from deep. Give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. Oh boy, the touch is coming back here in the second half. Percentages from the field much better than it was at the break. Walker for three. It falls. And now he's 10 of 15 shooting. Nice work. He doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. And there's the drive. Good on the shot. Walker's got 16 points here in the second half. He's getting it done offensively, making winning plays at every turn. The free throw drops for Moran. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Phoenix making some changes. DeAndre Ayton, he's checked in for Baisley. And it's T.J. Warren in for Lee. Jones against Walker. And the jam by Walker. Just rising up to the rim. Man, when he gets up there, he gets up there. You know what I'm saying? Well, Memphis shooting about 42% in the third. Pass to Jones. 17 seconds left in the third. Jackson, pass to Jones. They set the pick. The three. The shot off that time. Walker for three. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! Oh, they're on fire. The run punctuated by the big trifecta. And so it's the Phoenix Suns already up 26 points as this quarter ends. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. We'll be back in a moment. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle. But you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. We've got T.J. Warren. He's out there with Josh Okogi. And it's Landale in at the five, roaming the paint. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Here's Conchar. Off target from three-point range. Phoenix is shooting 64% for the game. Amazing. And the jam by Walker. He's been an absolute marksman the entire second half. Hard to imagine what anyone can do right now to slow him down. Outside, Williams. Pass to Tillman. Kennard outside. Here's Conchar. Walker covering. Outside, Williams. And it's all from three-point range. 60 ticks off the clock here in the fourth. And the jam by Walker. They've been very well-rounded and extremely focused. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Here's Conchar. Walker covering. 
Nice shot by Kadar. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. A brilliant dunk, and he hangs up there for a while, too. Like he's posing for the camera. He's just hanging out, posing for pictures, just making himself at home. And how about that replay? Man, you got to appreciate the hustle on defense. Yeah, this is the elevated energy level you expect in the postseason. Chasing down blocks and making an impact. Baisley, he's checked in for Warren. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Tillman with a screen. Inside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, yeah, good whistle there. The first free throw is good. The Suns making a switch here. Lee's checked in. Bain against Walker. Pass to Booker. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Desmond Bain. We might as well throw up the points. Booker shot 90% from the free throw line during the regular season. And here's Bain. This one for three. He's got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line in a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. And just executing at a high level. I mean, taking what the defense allows and putting in the work. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's it. At the line for the Grizzlies, Desmond Bain at the line for one. Phoenix has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Walker passes to Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. This is what he gives you night in and night out. Stellar production at the offensive end. 152 left to play in the fourth quarter. Morant, the pass to Bain. Offensive board. And count it. The shot is good, and he'll go to the line. Well, Adams right now looks like a giant out there. Seven foot four wingspan. Shooting one. And they got to be happy with how they are starting off these conference finals. A tone setting win for the Suns. And it was a big time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And so they start the conference finals off on the right foot with an important win. They wanted to set the tone for the rest of the series here tonight. And mission accomplished. They get to move forward with all the momentum on their side. And even from where we're sitting, we could clearly tell it was a foul. Some changes for Phoenix. Baisley comes in for Devin Booker. And it's Lee in for Paul. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Tillman's checked in for Adams. Aldama comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Dylan Brooks checked in for the Suns. At the line for the Grizzlies, John Moran. One shot. The free throw drops for Moran. One side is dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Walker passes to Durant. Oh, can't convert the two-handed jam. Oh, you can tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. Left side, Morant. The 15-footer is good. Morant's got 32 points in the game. And where was this type of effort earlier in the game? Unfortunately, this run will be all for nothing. 
consistency definitely is a, a key to some of the playoff performing teams and tonight they just did not find it in this contest. So no problem for Phoenix as they get the win and it always takes a lot of pressure off a team when they get the win in game one. It's the most important game of the series. They've shown they know how to beat this team. The formula's in place. Now they just have to stick with it for the next few games. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. Now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game.